Before we begin, I thought I'd mention that one reason for our visit to Illinois, especially this morning at the State Fair, was to bring a special message to America's farmers, one of concern and hope amid general prosperity that has brought record employment, rising incomes, and the lowest inflation in more than 20 years, some sectors of our farm economy are hurting, and their anguish is a concern to all Americans. I think you all know that I've always felt the nine most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. A great many of the Current problems on the farm were caused by government-imposed embargoes and inflation, not to mention government's long history of conflicting and haphazard policies. Our ultimate goal, of course, is economic independence for agriculture, and through steps like the tax reform bill, we seek to return farming to real farmers. But until we make that transition, the government must act compassionately and responsibly. In order to see farmers through these tough times, our administration has committed record amounts of assistance, spending more in this year alone than any previous administration spent during its entire tenure. No area of the budget, including defense, has grown as fast as our support for agriculture. Earlier this month, we announced our decisions on grain exports, and this morning we announced a drought assistance task force and with regard to storage problem, the availability of price support loans for all the grain in this year's crop. The message in all this is very simple. America's farmers should know that our commitment to helping them is unshakable. And as long as I'm in Washington, their concerns are going to be heard and acted upon. One other brief point. Tomorrow, the Senate will cast a crucial vote. The question is that of assistance to the freedom fighters who are trying to bring, bring democracy to Nicaragua where a communist regime, a client state of the Soviet Union, has taken over. The question before the Senate is, will it vote for democracy in Central America and the security of our own borders, or will it vote to passively sit by while the Soviets make permanent their military beachhead on the mainland of North America?